approach to food choices, the glycemic index has become a very popular measurement of what to choose to eat for your weight and blood sugar control. So the glycemic index has become a bit trendy, if you like. But it's something that people find hard to understand and get their head around, and I also find it a little bit tricky. So we're going to ask Margaret what she thinks of the glycemic index. So glycemic index is an indicator of how fast and how high a food raises your blood sugar after you eat it. So high glycemic index foods are often foods that are high in sugar or made of grains and cereals. So pure glucose has a glycemic index of 100 and other foods get measured against that. And the theory is that if you follow a, mo a mostly low glycemic index or low GI diet, that's going to help you keep your weight under control, it'll help to keep your diabetes under control, etc. And officially, if a food has a glycemic index of 55 or less, that's considered a low GI. It's not all that low, though, and most chocolate fits into that category. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> So we actually don't think that you should rely on knowing the glycemic index of a food to then determine what you're going to eat. We really recommend that you think about the total carbohydrate content of your diet and try to keep that lowish. Mm. So you know that, that sugar, grains, starches, cereals are the highest carbohydrate containing foods. Yes. So it doesn't really matter whether the, their GI is high or moderate or low. The foods are high in carbohydrate. If you eat too much of them, you're going to gain weight or you won't be able to lose weight. So I often get patients at the clinic saying, I've been following a low GI diet. Well, that's good for maintenance, but if you want to change your current scenario, if you want to lose weight, you really have to get the total carbohydrate content of your diet down. Yes, I agree. It's the amount of carbohydrate, the grams of carbohydrate that you're eating at each meal and every day that's more important than the glycemic index. And it's easier to understand too. So thank you, Margaret.